I think every Chinese person knows about the Four Great Beauties, but not everybody knows about the story of the Four Great Beauties. We'll begin with the story of Xi Shi. Xi Shi lived in the seventh century BC, a very long time ago, and she was a dyer of cloth who came from a very poor background. And Xi Shi was said to be so entrancingly beautiful that fish swimming in the water, when they looked up and saw her reflection in the water, they would forget how to swim and they would just sink to the bottom. Xi Shi lived in China during a time of competition and rivalry between many small little independent states before China was a totally unified nation. And these different states competed with each other for advantage. And the king of the state where Xi Shi lived, which was called the Yue State, decided to offer Xi Shi as a gift to the king of the neighboring Wu State as kind of a, an attempt at diplomatic arrangement. Wang Zhaojun, who lived in the first century BC during the Western Han Dynasty, was said to be so beautiful that her appearance would cause birds in flight to fall from the sky. Wang Zhaojun was selected as a maiden to serve the royal chambers of the Han. At that time, the relations between ancient China and its northern neighbor, the Xiongnu, were strained. One of the leaders of the Xiongnu visited the Han Emperor and expressed his wish to make peace with the Han Dynasty through marriage. The Han Emperor agreed, however, no princesses or maids wanted to marry a Xiongnu leader and to go live in a distant land. Finally, Wang Zhaojun stood up and agreed to go live with the Xiongnu. She got along well with them and she made great contributions to maintaining the peace and friendship between the Han Dynasty and the Xiongnu. Wang Yun to use 
use her beauty to turn Liu Bu, who was Dong Zhuo's adopted son, against his father, the tyrant. And so Diao Chan sacrificed her own happiness and used her beauty to cause a jealous rivalry between the tyrant Dong Zhuo and Liu Bu, and to play them off against each other. In the end, this resulted in the death of the tyrant Dong Zhuo. Yang Weifei, who lived during the Tang Dynasty, was said to have a face so beautiful that it put all flowers to shame. Yang Weifei was a concubine of the Tang Emperor Xuanzong. In 755 AD, when the Anshi Rebellion broke out from within the Tang Dynasty army, the Emperor Xuanzong, together with Yang Weifei, fled from the Tang capital of Chang'an. When they arrived at the Mave slope, the army refused to march, for the army thought that the reason for this rebellion was that Yang Weifei's beauty and Yang Weifei's behavior distracted the emperor and ruined the state, and that Yang Weifei's cousin, Yang Guozong, had seized this opportunity to collude with the enemy. To appease the army, Emperor Xuanzong had no choice but to order Yang Weifei to commit suicide at the Mave slope. And so the story of Yang Weifei is a sad one, in which a beautiful and innocent woman is mixed up in political struggles. was still the most prosperous and cosmopolitan era of ancient China, and the magnificence of the costumes in our next dance show the greatness of the era.